What's up everyone, welcome to Car Audio Fabrication. Now if you're a fabricator or you've watched my videos for some time, you know that having templates to use with a router can really help you take an install to the next level. But hand making new versions of custom shapes has always required the use of multiple templates that are stuck together with template tape until now. Introducing the Smart Frame System Axis Shape Creator. I'm super excited to make this video about this because I've been working on this with Brian Schmidt of Mobile Solutions for the past year. We've been beta testing it, we've been going through some different design iterations, and I'm just excited to finally reveal it to you guys. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how this unique tool works and how we can use it to create a handmade template shape of our own. I'll also have some additional details for you guys on a special CAF fan discount, so make sure you stay tuned in. All right guys, let's get started. Axis Shape Creator has tons of uses, and since this is such a flexible, diverse tool, I'm sure we as a community will find more uses in the future. But in this video, I want to show you two of my favorites. The first thing that the tool really excels at, and where it ultimately got its name, is from creating shapes. Shapes that can be integrated into a build, much like we would with any other template shape. In this example, we're going to create a four-sided shape with an accent piece. To start making a shape, we first select the base rails. The base rails have a countersunk bolt hole every three quarters of an inch, and these are the foundation for our shape, as we'll be using them to stick to our workpiece. Note that the base rails are available in a variety of different lengths and shapes. Next, we select our adjustment rails. These have slotted style connections which allow for adjustment, but also feature positive locking within the slot to allow for repeatability. Next, we grab a knob and a washer from the fastener organization tray. Locking the knob onto each of the intersection points allows us to lock our selected shape into place. Now at first, I thought this would be a fun shape to make, but then I decided to spice it up a little bit with an accent piece. No problem, it's easy to add one along one of the base rails. Next, I decided rather than creating this symmetrical looking shape that it'd be fun to do something a little bit more aggressive. So by loosening the rails and adjusting the connection points on the adjustment rails, I was able to completely change the look. Now I can actually make my shape. Here I draw a line just so you guys can get a rough idea what this will look like. After drilling a quarter inch hole, I place the drill bit in upside down in order to line up my template. I then stick the template tool into the workpiece using double sided template tape. Now it's over to the router table where I have a quarter inch spiral flush trim bit loaded up. I carefully lower the bit until the bottom part of the bearing is in line with the bottom base rail. I turn on the router and carefully follow the profile being sure to apply consistent pressure against the template. I take the piece that drops out and I copy it to a piece of half inch MDF. Now we could actually use this shape as is, but I want to take it to the next level and we're actually going to make it into a ring. To do this, I'm using the Smart Pattern System rabbiting bit which actually creates a very large step. I then use this step as an edge to ride my quarter inch spiral trim bit once again. When this process is complete, I now have a completely custom, one of a kind, brand new template shape that I can use in an install. Even better yet, I also have a center piece that I can use in order to make a pressed grill. But I'm really just scratching the surface of what is possible with this tool. Something else that I think is really cool to do using this tool is to make viewing windows. Once again, I selected a shape. I then stuck the shape onto my workpiece. And within minutes, I had this cool baffle board that could be used as a false wall on the sub box, a top cover for an amp rack, a rear deck. There are really just so many different options for how you could use this. In fact, for a little bit of a sneak preview, I'll show you guys this. I'll be using the Axis Shape Creator on Project Rebuild. So I also want to show you guys something that I'm really, really passionate about. My goal behind this whole channel is to get as many of you guys fabricating and building custom car audio as I possibly can. There's just something so amazing about fabricating your own build and seeing it come to fruition, and it's something that I really want you to experience. I really want us to grow this community as much as we can, and that's why I'm super excited to tell you guys that I was able to work together with Brian to create a special DIY version for CAF fans of this kit. The pieces in this kit are specially selected to meet and obtain price point for do-it-yourselfers while still giving you a lot of flexibility for what you can actually create. 
There are also two additional kits if you're a professional. So right now, Mobile Solutions is offering special sale pricing until October 9th. These kits are actually still in production and they'll start shipping on October 15th. I do wanna point out that the orders will ship first come, first served. So make sure if you can, you get in your order as soon as possible and that way you'll receive it sooner. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really think this is a tool that will make more and more people be able to get involved in custom fabrication. This channel is completely devoted to helping you learn how to design, build, and install your ideal car audio system. And I really feel that this tool will really help you design and build your system. If you're new here, I'd love to have you check out some of my other videos and to have you as a subscriber. As always, a special thanks goes out to Emmanuel, Rory, Eddie, Richard, Mark, Truman, Jerry, and all the other Patreon supporters. Thank you guys for helping make this content possible. If you'd like to learn more about the Patreon VIP support group and how you can help me make these videos, be sure to check out the link down below. All right guys, thanks again for watching this video.